Can we take a moment? I'm here for the long curls, girl. I am here for this. What's up, beauties? It's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today is our final day of wigs. Not final day of hair week, but final day of wigs for hair week. Tomorrow I'm showing you guys my natural hair update, which I'm super excited about. But today I'm going to show you guys this unit, which is a curly unit. I don't think I showed you guys any curly units. Um, so I'm really excited about this. I will say I'm kind of a mess. I have not slept. I got back home at 6 a.m. I've got one contact in. I'm not really here right now, but <laughs> but we're gonna run through this review and hopefully I get everything said that needs to be said. So this hair is from Divas Wigs. I have um, reviewed them before. Last year I did like a just a long straight hair. Something basic, but it was still cute. Um, I did that, so this time I wanted to try something a little bit more va va boom, you know? Look at the wrist. I realized that I always find myself steering more towards like straight hair or straight styles, and I never really step out and do curly, wavy stuff. So I was like, okay, let's switch it up, girl. And I love the hair. We're gonna get into it in a second, but first I wanna show you guys the packaging and what comes inside. So this is their box, very cute. Just says divaswigs.com, right product and sincere service, which is so true. Um, the lady I've been in contact with uh, at Divas Wig is literally so sweet. Inside you will get a wig cap, You'll also get this very cute necklace. Then you also get a little brochure that tells you all about the wig you ordered, all the details about that. It tells you more about the company. It tells you about their little VIP membership program and also has a return form. I know a lot of people have had issues with some companies returning your wig, but they give you a whole return form. So if something like it arrives late or it looks different than the picture online or it doesn't fit properly, there's a whole checklist that you can go through um, if you do need to return your wig. Just make sure you do not cut the lace off because I don't think they return it or they accept the return if you have already cut off the lace. So I'm going to share the exact details on the swig and then talk a little bit more about it. Um, so I got the style number WC035. It's 100% Brazilian virgin hair. It's 22 inches. I did trim it a little bit. Um, it's a 1B color off black, 150% density. It's got a medium brown lace color, which I don't know if that's correct a little lighter than that. Uh, medium brown and then it's a cap size 3 with a glueless cap. So it's saying average size and this cap size fits amazing. If you guys watched my other wig videos you saw I was having some cap construction issues, cap size issues. This one fits so so well. Now about the hair, when I first took it out of the box the curls came with a product in it as well similar to the hair I showed you guys the other day. Um, Came, in a pro came with a product in it, but the hairs, the curls were very, very defined. When I first put the wig on, I ran my fingers through the curls and it looked perfect. Literally perfect, I'm so mad I didn't take any pictures. It looked so good. But the thing I was not a fan of was the smell of it. So I was like, if I just wash the hair, then I can get the smell out and then we'll look perfect and smell good. That did not happen. <laughs> um, I washed the hair and I did not let it dry properly. You're supposed to let like curly wigs air dry. Don't use a blow dryer. I use a blow dryer. So this honestly, I did let it, I washed it again and let it air dry, but it does not look near as good as it did when I first took it out of the box. And I'm so mad about that because the curls were perfect. They were a little bit thicker. Um, and I will say this hair is still a little bit damp. I washed it yesterday and let it air dry overnight, but it's still not 100% dry, so it will get a little bigger, but it was just, ugh, it was so perfect. I do like how it looks now, but it did look better, I will say. Um, it fits beautifully. As I was saying, the cap construction is perfect. Get your three combs, one in the back, and the adjustable straps that are very secure. They don't pop off. Awesome. Um, the parting, as for the parting, you can part it anywhere. This is not the natural part it came with. I just did this uh, to the side to be a little sassy. As it said, 22 inches. I trimmed it a little bit just because I'm not a fan of like thin ends, stringy ends, you know, so I cut those off. When I washed it, I did not, or even when it was dry, I didn't experience any tangling, any shedding, anything like that. I will say the hairline is interesting. <laughs> or maybe I just cut the lace weird, which I never have, so I don't, I don't know. It's got a really interesting hairline, but the sides of the wig, like where the little flaps are by the ears, have this metal piece on both sides. So, well, it might be plastic. 
cardboard? <laughs> oh my god, what material it is. Um, so that it's it lays down flatter so you don't have to worry about the sides like flapping up if you're in the wind or something like that. I don't know. It happens though. So um, that helps to weigh down the sides. So I'll put all the information in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed hair week. I know it's not over yet, but I hope you enjoyed the wigs. I hope you enjoyed the extensions, the hair I showed you guys. So tomorrow is our last video for hair week, natural hair update. I know you guys have been waiting for that. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because I haven't styled my natural hair in forever, so. I'll figure something out, you know? All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.